series where I try a variety, well, each video I try a different ale uh, or beer and ramble about what's going on. It's kind of like an update with a drink. And yeah, if you guys want to sit back and relax with your own beverage of your choice, that is completely up to you. Maybe it'll be a hot drink to help you uh, get to bed. Maybe hot chocolate, a cup of tea, or a Horlicks. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a malt based. I don't know why I'm describing Horlicks. Look it up. Um, yeah, so this is a series that you guys seem to really enjoy, and I really enjoy filming. So that's awesome. So I think the first thing we have to do is, you know, look at the drink that we'll be trying this evening. I'm quite excited about this one. It is called. It's called Tribute, and it is a Cornish Pale Ale, meaning it originates, it's brewed in Cornwall, and it's an independent family brewers, and what I really like, well, first of all, it's from the St. Uh, Austell Brewery, I love the colour, I love the dark purple, the golden edges, golden calligraphy, it's a really nice design. So, what does it say on the back? Well, it's pale amber in colour. Our tribute is a Moorishly drinkable beer with delicious full bodied malt flavours and a citrus aroma. Brewed using Cornish spring water, Cornish gold, and Maris otter malts with a hand picked blend of aromatic hops, it is truly a Cornish pale ale. And I remember a few who lived there. Uh, down, down south, so Cornwall's in the south of England, mentioning a Cornish ale. I wonder if this is the same one. Um, but so, yep, yeah, so the colour, pale amber. The aroma is an orange and tropical sort of zest. And the taste is fresh orange and grapefruit. Nice. Uh, bitter, it is 3 out of 5. Sweetness is 3.5 out of 5. Really looking forward to tasting this because I like quite sweet things. Uh, but. Smells really sweet. What's it meant to smell of? Orange zest. I'm getting more of the tropical vibe. It's got a nice cap.
is said to be the father of the postmodern corporation. Um, Anne Waterman is an internationally known business executive, best-selling author and director of the Waterman Group. But I just liked, first of all, great cover, I like it. But I like, I like um, books where, especially where the business books are quite like reading, entrepreneurial um, books, but also uh, company biographies and this obviously isn't one, but I like it where there's sort of like a clear structure to it in the sense that there are say in this book eight principles that you can work through and learn from and keep referring back to different points. So I think I'm gonna, I might read, uh, get through a bit of the first chapter this, uh, after filming tonight. I was gonna say this morning. What time are we at? It's at 20 to 1. So I probably won't be able to get much done before I fall asleep, but it seems. To be an interesting read. So yeah, just thought I'd show you. These two pickups that will be going on the bookshelf. I've actually run out of room on my bookshelf for uh, books. space-wise I've only been able to allocate one uh, shelf um, so I'm now um, double double stacking them I've gone with a vertical approach um, primarily and then I think the sort of uh, secondary will be uh, horizontal so stacking them and then but I'm trying not to do that because I don't really because uh, a lot of my uh, the books I've got are hardcovers and got very nice spines and but I don't want uh, other sort of like yeah, you know, not as I don't know, not as valued um, books to sort of impede on the look. Because um, I have uh, the complete works of Plato there, which I'm actually really enjoying. Um, and then Super Forecast. I don't know why I'm just. Uh, listing of my books. Um, I think someone asked, I got a super day to do a book uh, door, like a library door, but I'm like, it's, it's barely a library, it's literally just a row of books and it wouldn't take too long to film. In the sense like the film, uh, the video would be a few minutes long. But enough about books. Um, unless you're really into books, um, you would have found that interesting. Maybe, hopefully, I'm rambling, which, whilst I know, seems to be the purpose of this video. Tangents, I don't know. Let's focus. So I'm going to refer to my notes, which are basically just topic starters. It's like when you're awkward in conversations, and so you, or you, you don't have a lot in common with someone. So what you do before you sort of engage in that conversation, you sort of think up a list of conversation starters, but you have to be careful because you have to initiate them periodically because if you hit fire through all your conversation starters within a short period of time, you are then knackered for the rest of the conversation. So if you ever find yourself in that position, think of something beforehand and be sporadic, lay it. Don't know. Joe shoot or we burst in one. That's not a saying. Um, no, don't pace yourself on. So what have I been up to recently? Um, yeah, I was the other night I was at a barbecue. Um, yeah, a few of us, uh, a few of my ma my mates, my friends. Um, one of the guys just uh, shot a message around on the group chat. You know, group chats. Um, I went, oh, would you like to come around and have a bit of a barbecue? So, after we'd all, so I finished, uh, I think, you know, a few of us finished work that day. Um, some people were just, I was just off. So, popped around, it was about six o'clock, and he lives, funnily enough, you know what you may not know. Uh, before we were in this house, so basically all the, the videos before these curtains, um, we were staying in a rental of property while this new house was gained up. Um, the mate whose uh, barbecue was at, and he lived. When I say next door, you would leave 
to the sort of like courtyard area we were in onto the A road and it'd be the next left, next junction on a farm. So we all popped around, it was pretty fun. Um, a friend of mine is uh, pretty proficient in barbecue skills, he's a bit of a chef um, and uh, cooked us up some some burgers and a uh, Cumberland sausage. It's very nice. Um, we were, we did, I was driving so I, I didn't drink but a few of my friends said uh, I think I brought for them a couple of uh, real ales that they tried, you know, trying to influence them into the, uh, the wiser. Um, the more cultured drink, I just, but a lot of my friends drink cider or they have this thing for Foster's because there's this pub in, um, in our city. Spoons, um, and uh, basically uh, the cold. Well, there's a Foster's. Yeah, Foster's. You you may or may not know Foster's the lager. When it's um, they when it's really chilled, it's really nice, and we go in there occasionally and have a few, and just they really overhype it just because it's really cold. It tastes like a normal Foster's. But for some reason, they uh, seem to like it. Like I like it. Don't get me wrong, but I don't rave about it. However, have you noticed if you're someone who drinks, um, yeah, uh, a difference in flavour between like sort of a canned, say, lager versus um, from a, from a tap, um, yeah, uh, from a draft. Sorry, on draft. There's a distinct difference in taste. Like I cannot stand a lot of um, uh, candied lager. I, I prefer having a pint. Draft. Back to the barbecue. So yeah, it's pretty fun catching up with all my sort of uh, my friends from school because we haven't seen each other in a bit of a while. Most of the guys who I play Risk with were there. Um, you see on Instagram every time I get together, I put up uh, an Instagram. Um, I put up uh, Game of Thrones Risk. Um, that's really fun. And it's just great to leave the house um, and just see my friends. We played a bit of Worms on uh, the Xbox 360. Uh, a, a lot of Smash, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, to which me and those we're both pretty, pretty good at. I was Link for obvious bias reasons, and he he he, he was really good because he could play a full roster. He was quite yo know, good at um, a variety of characters, so you could really sort of um, learn his playstyle and yeah, work against it. I think we ended up drawing, and then we just nattered on until about midnight, and then. I think we all went right, it's probably time to go home. But that was pretty cool. And apart from that, I've not been up to a great deal actually. Uh, I've been playing recently a lot of Rainbow Six Siege. It was free on Xbox. Uh, one games were cold. I'm quite enjoying it. I'm quite enjoying the Siege aspects. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty poor at it, as you could probably um, presume from watching my Let's Plays. Uh, I'm not very good. Uh, I'm in, I, like I say, I'm enjoying it. I prefer, I like, I like the tactical aspects of it. But I've mainly been playing Rocket League with uh, some of you guys, which has been where most of my attention has been drawn in terms of uh, Xbox. Um, also, I've been prepping for university, and my results come out. Uh, what day is it today? The first of August. Um, or oh, this may be coming out on the second of August. Uh, my results come out on the 18th of August. Um, so yeah, a bit apprehensive. It's one of those. And my grades have practically been decided um, as soon as I put the pen down on my final exam. So we'll just have to uh, see. Be yeah, hopefully, you know, touch wood. Um, it'll go as well. And then I'll be able to um, get my accommodation for the University of Liverpool. And that's very exciting. Um, moving. Moving again in September. Um, getting all this equipment down there. Yeah, camera, mic, etc. But I think it'll be a great.
my experience uh, moving to a big city um, meeting new people and uh, yeah uh, doing marketing so the course should be uh, pretty good pretty fun up my alley um, yeah and um, just let me know what sort of videos you wanted to be seeing I've been a lot of you have been noticing that I'm uploading basically every day now and I quite like the routine um, and it keeps me motivated because I'm like right it's 12 o'clock it's time to film time to get that video but I really do enjoy creating these videos and it's great to see that you uh, yeah, by and large are enjoying the frequent content so um, just let me know what you want to see I know a lot of you have been hankering for more let's plays more let's plays are on their way I'll, um, I'll get another one up this week I don't know whether to do a Rainbow Six Siege scenario let's play um, Rocket League's a bit difficult just because it's very frantic and I won't be able to keep a calm voice um, some of you want me to return back to the Wolf Among Us some people were Hitman um, but I just find that on the whole I think people generally prefer seeing something I haven't played before this is going beyond our views um, because like the second, third and fourth episode in Life to the Wolf Among Us gets, got significantly less views than the first one and like when I did the standalone Black Ops Moe Blair that got a lot more attention so I'm just thinking um because I have limited time, say in a week, um, to dedicate to say let's play say there's one or two a week. Am I better off? Would it be better for you guys to to do one new game a week and a continuation of a series as well? We we'll see. We'll we'll work it out. But yeah, I've got a lot of videos coming as well for the app. You know, I just did a countdown, counted down from hundred, whispered on the app. Um, uh, which is pretty fun, I've never done that before. Um, as easy as it seems, you have to keep you know, mindful of what number you're on, especially when you're going from side to side. But that was, that was fun. I'm just really enjoying this beer.